in Brazil, 120 kilometers from Porto Velho, capital of the state of Rondônia, a paramount source for development of the country took shape. One of the electricity industry's largest building sites in the world, the Giral hydroelectric plant quickly moved forward in a wager that sustainability, respect for human beings, and the environment may be combined. The plant will have installed capacity of 3,750 megawatts with a reservoir with an area of 361.6 square kilometers. Its layout includes two powerhouses, one spillway and 50 bulb turbines, two fish transportation systems and a log transportation system will also be part of the dam. After the license to set up the worksite is granted, work on the Jidao hydroelectric plant began with the construction of caissons between the right bank and Ilha Pequena. In June 2009, the final construction license was granted. Excavation of the right bank's hydraulic circuit also began at this time. After the vehicles and equipment needed on the site were ferried across the Madeira River on barges, construction on the left bank has begun. During this time, excavation on the spillway is finished, and soon afterwards, concrete pouring has begun. Excavation for the powerhouse on the right bank is finished, and then its concrete pouring has begun. In June 2010, concrete pouring for the powerhouse on the left bank began. And in July, the electromechanical assembly of the turbines begins. Right afterwards, in August 2010, excavation for the powerhouse on the left bank is finished. During this period, the first phase upstream caissons of the spillway are removed. And then, the river was diverted and went through the lowered spillway. During this time, construction on the dam begins. In November 2011, the removal of the first phase upstream caissons of the spillway ends. And in December, its construction comes to an end. In April 2012, the construction of the dam was finalized. And then, construction of overflow spillways began sequentially. During this period, second phase caisson and the dam's ridge are also built. In June 2013, the caisson for the left bank powerhouse is removed and electric power generation begins. Still during September, the caisson for the right bank powerhouse is removed. During all the year of 2014, the electromechanical assembly was continued and new generating units began operating. Through 2016, the Jirao hydroelectric plant will be operating at full capacity with its 50 turbines. Besides producing enough electricity to supply more than 10 million homes, the Jirao hydroelectric plant also fuels the socio-economic development of Rondonia and of Brazil. 16 billion reais are being invested in building the plant, creating more than 25,000 direct jobs and 35,000 indirect ones. And better yet, much of the workforce will be local. The impact of the plant on people's lives is also of concern to Energia Sustentável do Brasil. To ensure improved quality of life for families, 34 social environmental programs are developed in the area around the Jirau hydroelectric plant. As power generation started in September 2013, the Jirau hydroelectric plant is also generating royalties. When its 50 turbines are at their full activity, royalties will amount 100 million a year, 45 million to the state, 45 million for the country, and 10 million for the union. Nova Mutum Paraná, which received Jirau workers and former residents of the Mutum Paraná district, has 1,600 homes and capacity for up to 6,000 residents, all enjoying the full infrastructure, security, leisure, sanitation, conveniences, electricity, internet, mobile and fixed telephones, as well as schools, health centers, and commercial center. But no activity can work without skilled labor and respect for workers and their families. That's why professional skills and qualification programs were developed. 
and within the social compensation, about 160 million reais was invested between priorities highlighted by the governments of the state of Rondonia and the municipality of Porto Velho, which enabled the construction and renovation of schools and affordable housing, improved traffic signals, construction of new barracks of military and civil police, fire department, and reforms of the training centers for public safety, as well as many other investments in healthcare such as the construction of the new headquarters of the Polyclinic Oswaldo Cruz. Hondonia's historical and cultural heritage has also not been forgotten. Projects to document and preserve the region's memory for future generations are already underway. For Energia Sustentável do Brasil, there is no development without respect for human beings and the environment. Most environmental actions in the region Focus on Hondonia's pride and joy, the Madeira River, as a way to preserve one of the most important sources of food and income for riverside communities. A fish rescue and monitoring operation is undertaken. Besides this, a program for constant monitoring of mercury levels is up and running to ensure that the waters are always free of contamination. No country can grow without energy, but this investment in the future would be useless if it did not preserve the planet for the generations to come. Girao hydroelectric plant is a fundamental part of Brazil's future. It is proof that development and social environmental responsibility can and do walk hand in hand. Girao hydroelectric plant. Sustainable development for Brazil.